What's going on you guys? I am Mitchell with Mitchell's Lawn Care. Thanks for tuning into the channel. I hope each and every one of you are having a wonderful day or a wonderful evening, depending on what time it is that you are viewing this video. Today is all about balancing a mower blade. How I do it, how you can do it, okay? And you don't have to have a big expensive setup like this one here behind me, but you do have to have a high quality balancer. So let's dive right on into this. All right, you guys, so those of you that are not strangers to the channel, strangers to Mitchell's Lawn Care, know all about MLC blade sharpening and the fact that I service mower blades on the side for contractors and homeowners alike, okay? I have a full Magnumatic setup here with the Mag 8000, Mag 12000A blade cleaner, and the Mag 1000 blade balancing instruments, okay? So today is pretty much about this sweet little tool right here and how you get a mower blade balanced now there are some naysayers out there that are like oh i've been mowing for years and i ain't ever balanced a blade and i ain't ever blah 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 good for you good for them right okay i choose to do it the right way and i choose to take care of my equipment that starts with blades being balanced okay your blades are spinning upwards of 4,000 rpm or higher and it's no difference than the wheels and tires on your car you're not going to drive around with unbalanced wheels and tires because what's going to happen it creates unnecessary vibration same thing for an unbalanced mower blade it creates unnecessary vibration which can cause uh, you know uh, 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 blade shafts to wear out spindles to wear out engine problems you name it okay so the best thing the best thing to do is to balance your mower blades okay eliminate that vibration and take care of your equipment for as long as prob uh, long as possible okay so I use the mag 1000 I featured it on my Instagram profile and the channel here before but never solely um, how to use it and how to balance a blade now like I said you don't have to have a big expensive setup like I have behind me okay you can use a bench vise and a hand grinder along with the mag 1000 and achieve the same end goal okay and I'm gonna show you how to do that uh, I'm not going to show you how to balance a blade with a hand grinder, but I'm just going to like demonstrate it really quickly. Okay, so I'm going to get the camera set up and get, start demonstrating this to you. It's a very, very easy process that anybody can do. Now, I do want to preface this with the fact that if you want a Mag 1000, go to magnumaticdirect.com. All that information is always in my description down below on every single video, and you can pick up a Mag 1000. Use the discount code MLC5 and it's going to save you 5% on this bad boy. And in my professional opinion, this is the number one best blade balancing instrument on the market. All right, let's get this thing started. All righty, so this is the Mag 1000. All righty, and it is designed to find the true center of the mower blade. Okay, you put the blade on right here, you slide this magnet up to it holds on to the blade and then it spins okay it's in a, uh, a grease like ball bearing okay and then slide it back now this little bar right here I will demonstrate is how you check to see if the blade is bent or not and if it's within tolerance okay not all bent blades are out of tolerance and I will put a link below in the description of how you can check to see if your blade that is bent is out of tolerance okay so not going to go over that today now you might be asking what if the center of my mower blade is not a perfect circle well magnumatic has thought of that for you and they have this little kit right here that you can buy and it has different shapes on it stuff like that okay so if you got like john deere blades or or whatever maybe that'll focus uh, maybe not anyways but uh, they've got this little kit right here that you can buy that's got the different shapes on it, okay? And it will go behind the blade, and then it goes on here just like so. And that right there is the circle that you need. So, time to balance a blade. 
So right here, I've got a mower blade that goes on my 72 inch ZXT, okay? And there's a little bit of damage to this blade. This is just for demonstration purposes only. So, but like I said before, okay, you're gonna put the mower blade up here, okay? And you'll see that it, it wobbles all around, okay? Pull the, uh, slide the magnet to the back side of it and it holds onto it, okay? So at this point, you can let go and it will, once you let go, it will swing down up whichever direction and that will indicate which section of this blade is the heaviest that you need to work on, okay? So you wanna hold it level, all right, and then let go, and you will see that this side is heavier, okay? This blade is not balanced. Now a blade that is really far out, I don't have any here with me, I apologize, but a blade that's really far out, when you let go of it, it'll drop like that, like a lot quicker. Uh, I've seen them even go like this, you know? That's, that's considerable, okay? You know that there is a lot more uh, metal on this section of the blade than there is on this section of the blade. But this being a mower blade that is one of mine that I maintenance, that's why it's not far out of balance. And the only reason it's out of balance right now is because if you look right here, I don't even know if that's focusing, but um, if you look on the end of that blade, you can see that it's damaged, okay? So there's less metal right there than, than, than on the other end of this blade, okay? So, what I'm gonna wanna do is, again, this is the side of the blade that's off, so I'm gonna run that through the sharpener real quick, and I'm gonna run through this, and I'll show you how to get it balanced, okay? And I always, always, always recommend wearing the proper PPE, earplugs, eye protection, gloves, and your nose and mouth, okay? So as you can see, I've ran this through the sharpener um, a couple times on each end. So I just want to check and see the baseline, see where I'm at with this. Now, I remember that this was the lighter side because it had this notch, this damaged section in it, okay? So I'm letting go. And I actually, this is good to see, I took off a little bit too much on the heavy side. So I've got to touch this side, okay? All right, so I ran that side real, real quick. Now, in order to get this really dialed in, and, and again, it's practice makes perfect, okay? Um, you know, you might not need to run the whole entire blade through the sharpener. You may only need to do just a couple inches just to take off like a, a, a gram or so, okay? So, this was the heavy side. Let it go. and it's just a tad heavy, okay? Now, somebody would say splitting hairs, they would call this balanced because it's almost stopping, okay? But I wanna show you this. See that little bit slowed it down a little bit more, so. And you'll see, so it was just a tad bit 
too much. Now you're probably thinking, oh, you're going back and forth. But... I would call that balanced, okay? Even though it's coming down slightly, this one is balanced, okay? And you can even get it to where it stops completely, but for the sake of the video, see like right there. If it hangs like that for a couple seconds, it's balanced, all right? Now, I wanna show you real quickly how you can do this with the hand grinder, okay? I'm not gonna put it back on the balancer, but just to show you real quick, okay? All right, you guys, so if all you have is a hand grinder, you know, I, I don't know how you're securing your blades to sharpen them, but you definitely need a bench vise. Okay, it really, really helps you, unless you can sandwich it between something else with maybe some clamps or something, but uh, a bench vise will definitely make life a lot easier on you. Okay, so if you want to balance a blade with your angle grinder, hand grinder, how I do it when I'm repairing blades is I turn this thing over to get to this section. It's like, like the claws on it, okay? Open it up. So you can slide the blade in. I'm trying to be very careful so I don't cut myself. But then, so same thing. If you've got a heavy side, you're just gonna take your hand grinder, you know, and you don't have to go the full length, okay? If you know it's just a tad bit you gotta take off, you know, you want to come down maybe two or three inches, just touch it really quick, put it back on the blade sharpener. If it's really, really heavy, um, I always, if there's one side that's really heavy, the lighter side, I, I sharpen just enough to get a clean edge and a sharp edge, and then I focus my efforts and time on the side that's the heaviest, okay, because you know you got to take more material off of that side. So if this is the lighter side, I'm going to work it work it real quick just to make sure oh okay it's sharpened now i'm going to focus on the heavy side and i mean i may need to do three times the passes on it okay throw it up on the balancer it starts to slow slowly come down come back to your heavy side maybe only work half the blade or a quarter of the blade a third of the blade so you see where i'm going with this okay and again it just it's just practice okay and that's how you balance a blade all right, you guys, so that's how I balance a blade here at Mitchell's Lawn Care or MLC Blade Sharpening, okay? You may have your own methods, uh, and if you do, I'd love to hear it in the description down below. Um, you know, I guess there's really not a right or wrong way as long as the end goal is the same and you get a balanced blade. Um, there is a misconception, old wives tell, that you can just stick a nail on the wall. That does not work because when you hang the blade on the nail, it is not using the exact center of that it's not finding the the is it concentric whatever it's not finding the center of that mower blade so it's not a true balance okay it's hanging off center that's why the mag 1000 is so important because it finds the true center of a mower blade and like i showed before at the beginning of the video if your mower blade doesn't have a circle um, magnematic offers the adapters that you can buy to uh, put in that little shape and they make them for all mower blades okay so if you're interested in picking up a Mag 1000, go to magnematicdirect.com. All that information is in the description down below. Remember, MLC5 will save you 5% on everything across the board with Magnematic. Uh, we appreciate them partnering up with us to extend that discount to you guys. As always, I really appreciate your support. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, got anything from it, give it a big old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. You know, that's what makes the world go around. So thanks for tuning in guys. We will see you next video and make sure to browse the channel.